We're here in Los Angeles at Motorola US's event for the unveiling of the new and improved Razer. It is now foldable and is a touch screen. Now just a quick outfit change and location change. I'm now ready to give you a full overview of the new Motorola Razer. I spent about an hour with the phone, had some fun shutting and opening it and pretending to angrily hang up on people. But along with that fun feature, there are a whole host of other important features to go over. First, let's talk about the availability and price of the phone. The Razer will cost you more than three times the cost of the original Razer at $14.99. With that, you'll get 128 gigabytes of storage, six gigabytes of RAM, and a 710 Snapdragon processor which is just good, not great, and it comes with headphones, chargers, and adapters. You can pre-order the phone in December, and it will ship in January, but before you get too excited, Motorola and Verizon have teamed up for Razer to be exclusively sold at Verizon. Now let's talk about the cameras on the phone. There are two of them. One is a five megapixel camera, one is a 16 megapixel camera. The five megapixel is found when you open the phone, and the 16 megapixel is on the outside that you can use when it is open and shut. And for those of you worried about selfies, you can easily take selfies with the Razer when it is shut. All you need to do is use the Moto actions with two twists of the wrist, the camera will open. And then when you show your palm on camera, it will start a countdown clock and then your selfie will be taken. Now, this all happens on the front of the Razer when it's closed on a 2.7 inch touch screen. And besides taking photos, this screen also houses all of your notifications like caller ID, text alerts, social media alerts, and the like. You can accept calls on the front screen, but it will be on speakerphone. The fun part of this phone comes when you open it up to its 6.2 inch touch screen. Now in case you're not sure what 6.2 inches is for a phone, we are comparing it to my iPhone X. Now I really like the feel of the Razer. It is definitely balanced. There are two batteries, one on top, one on bottom, so it doesn't feel top heavy or bottom heavy. One thing that caught me off guard a little bit was the aspect ratio, but after opening a few YouTube videos and watching them, it wasn't even an issue. And one concern I had with the Razer was the feel of the touch screen. If you're pushing even just like a little harder than you think you need to, you can feel all the components, you can feel all the technology beneath the screen. But turns out that is totally normal because it is a flexible screen that tends to happen and that flexible screen is what makes it a successful flip phone. And just a quick note, this is not waterproof and it's not water resistant either. It is just splash proof. So don't be hanging around pools with this thing. It may not survive the swim. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for following along with this video. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about the Motorola Razr, I have a link for you in the description that will take you to a guide that goes over all the specifications and has even more photos and pictures that you can look at and decide for yourself if that is something you want. Thanks for watching Wislaw TV. I'm Sherry Riggs.